The Game Monopoly, a game all about taking over the competition and being number one in the real estate market. I cannot think of a bigger monopoly than Amazon. Hello, pro gamers. It's me. And today, we're going to be talking about Amazon. July 5th, Jeff Bezos started a company in his garage called Kadabra. Kadabra was a fast way to buy books online with its new one-click technology. It was literally insane. Like, you didn't have to go outside of your house anymore to read a good book. It embraced laziness and made it so that we have the America that we have today. Later on, after selling $55.5 million in shares, Bezos decided to move on to more than just books. They got the name Amazon because of the multiple splits in the Amazon River. Amazon was going to explore more than just books at this point. They were going to explore toys, kitchen stuff, more. During this transition, Amazon also made a $51 million deal with Toys R Us to sell their toys online. We see where that got them. Everyone was Amazon crazy. Sears, get that out of here. Kmart, get out of my face. Every other small business, get out of my sight. My boy Jeff laughed like it was nothing. <laughs> Amazon is now a tech giant. They have Alexa, they have Kindles, they have smart locks, they have microwaves. Be like, Alexa, make me a croissant. Okay. So today, Amazon is now expanding all over the world. I'm talking India, Turkey, China, UK, US, North Virginia. And at this big company, there's just one man who started it all with a simple idea. And that man is Jeff Bezos. It's no wonder that he lost his hair. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own parchment paper. So this paper is uh, really easy to make and then you can use it for lots of other crafts. You can do it on something that's already printed. It's a fun way to make like an old looking book page. Or you can also make it on a plain piece of paper and then draw on it or write on it. It looks cool. Make some fancy paper. To do this you'll need some paper that you're going to turn into parchment, which you can use plain or I scanned a book page using a scanner app and then printed it out. Or you could do it on whatever you want. And then you need some sort of container and iced tea. So really all you need to do is pour your tea into your container, just like a shallow layer of it, and then dip your paper in it. Push it in there and let it soak. Make sure all of the corners and all of it's covered is actually like all the way underneath. And then the longer you let it soak in there, the darker the color will be. My example paper, this one, I just dipped it in there and then took it out again. Um, but if you want it to be a darker color than that, just leave it in there for a couple of minutes. And then once you're felt like it's in there for long enough, just take it out and let it dry. I usually set it on like a baking drying rack. So there you have it. A very easy way to make some more interesting paper. Go from boring to fun.